Brett Bell and Kate Studios. It's the J Spot in Dallas, Texas, where Corey Holcomb will be performing at the Improv. Player? I got it. Here we are. All in right. The club. All right, everybody. <laughs> How are you guys doing? All right, welcome to the J Spot Comedy Live in the Cake. First time ever. And where are you from, miss? So I went right to that. That's, I went right to where you're from. That's, that's a good sign when a comic's not doing a good job on stage. When he, when he, 30 some years? Who you married to? You are married, right? All right, let's move on to this man right here. What's your name, sir? Where are you from? Yeah, you seem nervous. Are you okay? I'm okay. You all right? All right. You worried about your rent or something like that? You seem a little nervous. Everything all right? Oh, you're supposed to be here. You know we're filming this, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be on. And what about you, Miss? Where you from? What's your name? Dallas, I'm with him. You all married? Yes. Yeah. How long have you been married? 26 years. Look at the one when you talk to her, sir. <laughs> you act like you're shaming who you're with, man. Come on, speak up. And Miss, church, Miss, Miss, what's your name? Now what's Scott. Now what's Scott? What's your church home? Um, the ski French. Well, you had to think. Ah, uh, uh, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to have comedy right here. Y'all ready for some comedy? Yeah. Uh, you know, we have a, you ready for some comedy? Yeah. Coming to the stage right now is a very good, they always say that, comedians always say that he's a very good friend of mine. Sometimes they don't even know the damn guy. But this time, I'm actually telling the truth. He is a very good friend of mine. Y'all, please, put your hands together. It's the J-Spot Comedy live in the cake. Let's hear it for my good friend, Corey Holcomb, y'all. Give me that <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's let's get right to business up here, okay? This is something I feel needs to be said. A lot of a lot of girls who are side chicks. I know you don't like to claim being a side chick, but a lot of you are side chicks. And what's happening? You're having these side babies, and you're not declaring it at the hospital. <laughs> this is not fair. You need to put side baby on the birth certificate. You know, a lot of women are down there lying to the staff. His father on the way. They be like, this is sad, baby. Ain't nobody coming to see this baby. Ain't nobody coming up here with your mama when it's release day. My, my sister's a nurse. She told me them girls be calling the dudes like, I just want you to know you had a little boy. Hello? Hey, nobody on that phone. He, only reason he answered because you called from the hospital line. You got, you got to declare as a side baby. Also, I want to say this because there's a lot of ladies in the audience. Listen, ladies, you got to stop getting to know the little side baby without letting your brother know. <laughs> I, it, was, it, this was, it was something terrible happened in my family. I show up at my mom's birthday and, you know, my sister brought the little side boy over. I walked in the house, I was like, that's that little boy, ain't it? It was, it was awkward. It was terrible. You, you know, he walked up to me, I was like, hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm going to get some cake. I ain't know what else to say. It was awkward trying to, you know, I didn't want to meet him like that, you know? I do a lot of things to try to stay in his life, my little side son. Um, I went to visit him. I brought him some of my real son old clothes. You know, it was odd. You know, they always want you to meet him. Let me go get him. I was like, let me get out of here. I don't, I don't like talking to the little side boy, but, you know, we got to know each other a little better. And uh, we had the family reunion picnic, so I went and picked it up. And um, yeah, I put it in the car with my real kids. That was awkward, you know. My, my real kids was looking at me. <laughs> that's your brother. He's like, that ain't my brother, that's your brother. But listen, this is important. You gotta make sure the little side babies, especially if we pay child support on them, make sure they got money in their pocket when we come pick them up. It was awkward. We pulled up in McDonald's, you know what I mean? I was like, where yours at? <laughs> This is a true story right here. You know, he was I had to order his food. I was like, What's up? Let them get a couple of burgers and uh, get him a side of fry. <laughs> they need side baby meals at McDonald's. It's a half a bag of fries and a broke open toy that was returned. It's some faucet water. <laughs> ah, yeah, Get out there and pump the gas. Oh my God. This is 
is another thing. I, I just talk about what happened in my life. I got this side girl I'm dealing with, and uh, I don't like the way she treat her husband. You know? <laughs> it's not fair, you know what I'm saying? Every t- no, hey, Jay, when, whenever he calls, she don't answer the phone. I'm like, you better answer the phone and share some of our time with him. <laughs> when I drop you off, that is your husband. <laughs> This is all true stuff, by the way. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up on this note. I want to say um, to the one dude who was well, two guys sitting in the audience. You know, I think he's with his wife. That's very brave of you to bring your wife out with you. It's awkward. I went to the Jill Scott concert in L.A. with my wife. Oh my God! You know, yo, let me tell you something. All Jill Scott concerts are full of side chicks. I got busted. You know. What I mean? <laughs> When I put the ticket in, I knew one of them was going to be there. And I was shocked because, you know, we, I had real good seats. I was right up front. And one of my broke side girls had good seats. I, I really wanted to look back and be like, how did you get these seats? You know what I mean? It was awkward. I had to watch the concert from this side the whole way. I, I felt that wind. My wife touched my face. I really felt it. Look back. Anyway, side girls, you got to hang in there. Your day is coming. I tell side girls all the time I deal with, my wife don't look both ways when she crosses the street, so, you know, opportunity is there for you one day. I just can't promise nothing. But anyway, I'm Corey Hogan. Thanks, Jay, for letting me rock. Everybody get up.